Hi, welcome. I'm Kathy from the Delphi Quilt Company, and I've got a really quick and easy quilt for you today. And the fabric requirements for the top is just one layer cake. So if you're looking for a project and you have one layer cake, you might want to stick around and watch this video. I hope that you enjoy it. So the fabric that I'm using today is from the Christmas Eve collection from Lella Boutique. And again, you just need one layer cake for the top. I just love this collection because it's although it's Christmas, it's got some grays in it that make it a little more universal, I think, so I can use it a little bit longer than just the holiday season. So this quilt project is going to go super quick because we're going to cut several of these squares at once. I'm probably going to try to cut four at a time. And if you have a rotating mat, you might want to grab it because it's just going to make this that much easier. So I am using a ten and a half inch ruler, but you certainly could use your long ruler as well. All right, and to cut this really simple, I'm going to cut three and three quarters inches from each of the sides, and that will be all of my cutting. And when I do this, I'm just going to carefully lift up the ruler, give it a turn, I'm going to lay it back down and do another three and quarter inch cut on the next side. I'm going to turn again, repeat with the three and three quarters inches. And then one more side, three and three quarters inches again. And this is what you end up with after you've got all of those cuts made. So I'm just going to keep these together, move them aside, and work on my next stack. I'm just going to keep doing this until I have all of the squares on the layer cake cut. And the layer cake I'm using does have 42 squares. And if yours doesn't have 42 squares, then your quilt's just going to be a little bit smaller. Again, I'm just keeping these together in the same order. I'm going to just stack them on my other pile of squares that I cut earlier. And I'm just going to keep going until I have this whole layer cake cut. pieces cut and I'm actually going to keep them on my rotating mat because I'm going to just take that to the sewing machine when I'm ready to sew. Let me get the other ones back out here. Now I want to mix them up a little bit and to do that I'm going to leave this stack as is and I'm just going to take a few of these off just so I can get to a, the next color and I'm just going to put it right underneath and go over to the next pile. Maybe I'll get to a gray here and the next I'll just do one in this one and if I start with each one being a different one I should get a nice variety I really got no rhyme or reason on this I'm really just picking something that looks different than the one right next to it so I got them mixed up a little bit and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew these pieces together and I'm gonna just kinda daisy chain them together and go with the top layer here so the rolls first and then sew the block together. And as I'm peeling these away, I'm just going to keep them in the random order I have them now so that my block should be nice and mixed up when I'm putting this together. And I'm just going to use a quarter inch seam to sew these together. And to sew these together, I'm just going to start at the top of the stack, put my pieces together, and sew with a quarter inch seam.
it too I could just keep sewing till I got all this first two stacks done but because my string is getting a little long here I think I'm going to go ahead and start sewing on this third block here and I'm not even going to press these in between I'm just going to open it up take the next piece and continue with that quarter inch seam Okay, I've got enough to put together one block here and I'm going to press the seams just the opposite direction so that they nest nicely when I sew them together. And there's the finished block. You can see I nested the seams on the back here. So really simple and quick to put this one together. And now I just need to sew the other 41 blocks that are in this layer cake. Alright, so I've got my blocks all done and now to put this together very simple. I'm going to just do six blocks per row and then I'm going to do seven rows total. And I'm just going to place these pretty randomly, just making sure I have it a little mixed up. And my goals have a really scrappy quilt here, so I want it just to look like it's pretty random. I don't want there to be a noticeable pattern. So I'm just going to play around with these a little bit to make sure that they are nice and mixed up. Alright, I'm going to continue laying this out till I get it to where I like it. And then I'm going to sew the rows first and then the rows together. And then I'm going to come back and I'll show you what the finished quilt top looks like when it's all done. And here's what the finished quilt top looks like when it's all done. This one came together pretty quickly and it was really easy to cut and again use just one layer cake. So if you have one layer cake and you weren't quite sure what to do, you might want to try this project because it's pretty simple. All right, I hope that you liked this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit us at delphilcoco.com. Have a wonderful day and a happy holiday. <music>